calls for an insurrection and to take up arms. The new Peruvian government fears that protests by supporters of former President Pedro Castillo are turning into an uprising. The streets of Lima, the capital, are packed daily with demonstrators. Unrest is at its most intense in regions to the north and south of the country. The former president spoke during a video conference hearing before a court. I want to say that I am detained unjustly and arbitrarily. I am not a thief, a rapist, corrupt or a thug. I would like to urge the military and the national police to lay down their arms and to stop killing people who are seeking justice. Dina Balate, who is from the same party as former President Pedro Castillo, is in power and trying to ease tensions. On Monday, a state of emergency was declared for 60 days in seven provinces. The general elections, initially scheduled for 2026, have been brought forward to 2024. None of this has appeased protesters who demand President Balati's resignation, the release of Pedro Castillo and the dissolution of Congress. I am not guilty of any crime. I have been president for barely a week. I do not understand why our Peruvian brothers and sisters are rising up against this government. They are asking for the dissolution of Congress, but legally it is difficult. Former President Castillo wanted to dissolve Congress, and look where it is now. Parliament had voted for Mr. Castillo's dismissal as head of state on grounds of moral incapacity. His attempts to dissolve them came just before they were due to hold a third impeachment vote against him. He and his family were also being investigated for alleged corruption.